What's up guys, it's me Mac. I am bringing you a new um, commentary. I'm doing this twice because the first time obviously I wasn't recording. Bummer. But yeah, I'm still learning my way about Vegas. But today we're going to talk about Fusion, Nintendo Fusion, which is rumored to be the, the next gen console of Nintendo. I have a picture of it right there. Now, let me um, let me tell you, that that's not an actual Fusion mock-up. Most I've seen a lot of people using this photo, you know, of the Fusion. This isn't the Fusion. This is a mock-up of the Nintendo Wii U before it launched. So by n in no way or means does this, does this represent the Fusion. It's not even concept art or fan art that was made recently. This was like perhaps probably like in 2011 when we were still speculating about the Wii U. But yeah, that's a Wii U uh, mock-up right there, ladies and gentlemen. But anyways, let's get started with this rumor, though. Fusion rumor. Well, apparently there is a new next-gen console of Nintendo, and we have some leaked information here. I was going to say footage, but we don't really. Now, as you guys all know, I'm not much of the technical wizard here, so if you guys want to see the specs of this beast, I'm going to leave it in the description box below if you guys want to check that out. But let's get right to my opinions and shenanigans. Do I think this rumor is true? No. Why? Well, you see, a week before this rumor came out, I was surfing the web on, you know, going on Nintendo sites, you know, checking out what's up, what's here, who you doing, how you doing. And a lot of other sites, you know, gaming sites in general, that had Nintendo news, you know, doom and gloom for Nintendo and all that. Should they go out of the console business? But I was, you know, we were talking, and some other people were talking about how the next, if Nintendo were to make a next-gen console right now, like if they were to pull Sega and just put a new next-gen console, it would have to be something portable, you know, something you could, a console you could take on the go with you anywhere you want, and that's kind of like what, what the Fusion sounds like. So there's two parts to the Fusion, the Fusion Terminal and the Fusion DS. That, the Fusion DS is the handheld, and the Fusion Terminal is the actual console itself. So I'm guessing the Fusion DS is going to act like a, kind of like a DS or a gamepad where you can take it any anywhere you want now, I guess. It won't be limited to your to your house anymore, or 50 feet away from your Wii. It'll probably be anywhere you can on your Fusion. So, yeah. Another thing that makes this kind of interesting and weird, and kind of creepy, and kind of cool, is that the Fusion is rumored to be using an HVD, a holographic versatile disc. Holographic versatile discs. Well, let me tell you what they are, basically. They can give Blu-ray a run for their money, and the ones that the Wii U uses. Now, these things can hold up to... The website says they can hold up to about 5 terabytes, but I if, they, if we do start using HVDs in the future, I believe they'll just be like at 200 gigabytes. I don't think Nintendo's going to be releasing a 6 terabyte disc, you know, for that. That's just overkill. The, the devs would have to be so lazy, you know. Make a big ass world and only you know one thing to do. But yeah, anyways, um, the HVD that's basically what it is. It, it can beat the pants off Blu-ray. Now Nintendo does seem to have um hold of this technology. If you go to the Wikipedia page for holographic versatile disc, you do see Nintendo is one of the companies that um oh, excuse me is that's proposed to provide an industry forum for testing and technical discussions of all aspects of HVD design and manufacturing. As of February 2011, the HVD forum comprised these corporations. Now, Nintendo's on there, and that was in February 2011, you know, back in the speculation of the Wii U days of the E3 and all that good stuff. Now, let me just tell you right now, do I think this is real? No, I do not think it's real, because like I said before, I was on, I was on the websites before this, and they were spewing almost the exact same crap, that, almost exactly the same as the Fusion Terminal thing. So this was, you know... This probably came of in weeks or, you know, a couple of days of preparation to make this. This sounds really familiar to me. I could have sworn I've seen this on the website before. Not as detailed though, but yeah, I don't believe this is true. I think this is just, you know, a fan trying to, you know, just rile us up. But if it is true, the only part that would be true about this would be the HVD. I think HVD will be using the next Nintendo console, whatever they decide to call it. Hopefully not the Wii U 2 or the Wii U Y. I, I really don't want the Wii name to succeed. I just don't. Just restart everything. You know, give something else. Give us the GameCube 2. I love that thing. You know, give us a new launch pad design and I'm good. Give us the GameCube 2 Nintendo. I want that. I want that really bad. But yeah. there. I don't believe this rumor. You shouldn't believe it either. Now the console, the um, Fusion Terminal, does have some very nice specs itself. And if you guys want to check those out, as I said before, they're going to be in my, you know, my little details box below the um, info box. I, 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 I forgot what you called those, but yeah, 
there's going to be it, the specs are going to be down there below. You know, some interesting stuff. It's going to be using IBM Power PC architecture for the CPU, and it's going to you know, it's going to beat the PS4 by about three times from rough calculating estimates and power, which is pretty good. That's more than twice. But then again, you know, the Microsoft console or Sony console might be more powerful. But then this is just a rumored console. So take it with a grain of salt, guys. A big grain of salt. I don't think this is true. I think this is just a fan channel raw sub or a troll, a troll alert. But why would a troll make the spec so good? Hmm, you know, makes you wonder. But yeah, guys, that's what I think about the Fusion. I don't think it's real, but it's cool. If you guys want to check out the details of it, go to Wii U Daily and read more about the story where you can, you know, go and talk to other people. Or go to Pretendo. You know, they do the same thing there, too. And yeah, if you want to see the specs real quick though, go to my info box right below and you'll be able to pull up the specs of Fusion Terminal and Fusion DS. Anyways guys, this has been Super Mac Guy. I've been testing some new settings out too. Hope you enjoy. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm done today now. How do we stop this?